so hey youtubers this is Valerie and I I have a haul video for you guys today I haven't been purchasing a lot but um, a lot of it has been built up uh, you'll have to excuse my appearance today my face is all red and blotchy I've got a rash it is 102 here in Texas today and it's hot um, I'm actually recording in the comfort of my son's bedroom on his laptop today. Um, that's why you see, like, the trophy, the trophy in the background. That's my son's trophy from tennis. So, but it's so much cooler in here than it is in the rest of the house. Even though the air conditioning is set low, it is not cooling as well as it should. Um, so, um, so anyways, um, I, there was, um, I forget her name, um, let me see if I can see it, um, somebody by the name of Crystal, um, I can't remember her YouTube name, um, was uh, de-stashing, and um, I'm looking to increase my stash, always looking to increase my stash, because I love my scrapbooking products. And she was de-stashing, and I saw some things that I liked um, that I didn't have. And so um, I paid her 40 bucks, and she sent me all, some really cool stuff that, that I wanted to have. So um, some of this is from her, um, and I'll show you those items first. Um, but I thought I got a really good deal, um, and she shipped it right away, so that was great. came really fast. But this is like the last month and a half where the stuff built up. I've been picking up um, a few things here and there. Um, so I'll start with the stuff that she sent me, and then I'll show you. I've picked up a few things at Walmart from here and there, and I went to Walmart today. Oh, I went to Walmart, and and they forgot to put, um, my son forgot to grab um, a bag off the carousel. And so I get all the way home, and let me tell you, I don't have any heat in my car so it's an extremely warm ride home anywhere in this heat um, I drive to work in it in the afternoon and uh, in the morning and it's much cooler I can endure it because um, I drive 30 minutes to work and then um, when I come home um, it's uh, it's five o'clock it's starting to cool down it's usually pretty warm but because I've been in the air conditioning all day every ounce of my skin is so cold that I can still feel the cold halfway home so I'm you know I can sacrifice and I can live with that um, but today I had to go out shopping in it and I I just didn't I wasn't happy we actually stopped at a yard sale today and I pick up, up a few like office type things and and uh, so yeah um, so let let me start um, so some of the things that um, this crystal was giving um, not giving away because I paid for them um, and she actually shipped something separate but and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all these I don't know if I'm going to use them but um, the first thing is um, Stamps. There was three stamps, and they're they're all brand new, never been opened. I love the tree one. Um, when I used to own my scrapbook store, my um, my logo was three tree, three trees, um, but they were like pine trees. But I like this tree, and so I'll probably keep this one for sure. Um, and then there's a martini glass. Um, I do not drink martinis um, and I don't know when I would have an opportunity to use this so um, maybe I'll save it for a giveaway um, sometime um, maybe when I reach my first 50 youtubers or something I'll um, I'll include that in a giveaway um, I only have like 12 people that like me so um, but that's okay I'm not doing it um, for the people I'm just putting the products out there um, and letting you see what's out there so and the other one was this little frog um, and it's really cute I've seen it before um, but 
I really don't have any need for it. Most of my boys' little boy pictures are done. Um, and um, I don't know that I'll need any little frogs. Um, I'll, I might think about saving it or I might add it to with the martini glass um, for a giveaway. Um, it might be cute on cards, um, so I'll have to think about that. Um, but these are all in the package, brand new. Um, so nice. Um, and these were probably worth easily 10 bucks a piece. We're looking at $30 right here, and I paid 40 for everything I'm going to show you. And there's more. There's a lot more. So um, then um, there was these flowers. The Prima, I, I knew these were Prima the minute I pulled them out, and yeah, they say Prima Marketing. Um, little tiny pink flowers for everywhere, and and the lighter pink ones I can actually color because they're close enough to white that I could color them any color I want. Um, so I can always use um, the flowers, and it doesn't look like she used much out of here. Um, in fact, the bottle still has the tag on it. That she paid a dollar ninety nine, or if it was on sale, yeah, because it says regularly five ninety nine, discount price um, sixty six percent off, which is um, one ninety nine. Um, maybe she got it at like a Tuesday morning or something. But I have some Prima flowers. Um, they're larger white and gray and black ones. So, but I love the. Cream of paper flowers, and this was so worth it. Um, also, let's see what else. There was, there was a. I think this is like a smash book. Do you see this? I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. It says, "Nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion." Isn't that the truth? Um, and uh, it's got, let me see if I can hold this up and show you. Maybe I'll tilt this down a little bit so you guys can see it. That's better. Okay. So it's got this, like, pocket here. And it says hello. And then it's basically like a little, like, journal sketch. I guess it's a journal. Um, scrapbook, kind of an art artsy kind of journal smash book um, kind of thing so um, yeah guys uh, this was probably easily 10 bucks if not more um, and it's brand new and so I'm gonna um, anything after this um, was just a deal in getting and this is brand new I actually bought some um, some pages today um, hang on, let me see if those fit. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So, oh, I don't know if these are going to fit. But I have other binders. I See, I bought at yard sale today this package of like they're like address sheets and they're three ring no they're not going to fit in there but I'm sure I'll find some I paid 10 cents for these so um, whatever whatever I use them on is fine with me um, I'll be re really happy about it because I bought them at a church yard sale today so um, I'm going to have fun doing this uh, kind of smash book maybe I'll do like 2016 I'll scrap me or something because I haven't done anything where I just scrap about me. Then there was this calendar planner and I'm really kind of starting to, let me see if I can let's see, um, really starting to get into the, the planner sort of stuff and this one is kind of like a smash book kind of planner um, has the the calendars and I guess places to put pictures so it's kind of a, a scrapbook yeah because you can put like eight pictures in each two um, four uh, six back to back oh each of them are a little different 
or no, yeah, six, six back to back. Um, so 12 pictures each month. And maybe I'll just like smash the year or something on calendar. Um, I am going to be getting into planners soon. Um, really soon I want to get me, get myself a really nice planner. But this is Heidi Swab. So I know that, that this had to been at least around 10 bucks, maybe. Um, maybe eight. I don't know. Um, maybe more. Because, um, I, I used to carry Heidi Swap stuff in my store and, and I know they're not cheap. So, um, so that was really cool. Let's see. What else do we have in this box? Um, another thing of Prima Flowers. Actually, this is Get, Got Flowers, Mulberry Paper Flowers, um, Tuesday morning. So it was Tuesday morning. This is Prima. This is Prima. It doesn't say Prima on the bottle, but that is their logo. And, and well, it does say Prima on this, uh, this is Prima Marketing on this tag. So, um, and that's about half full, and it's pink. I don't use a lot of pink, so maybe I'll throw some in a giveaway or something, or maybe I'll give them away just because I have boys, and I don't know. I don't do a whole lot of girly pages, but really pretty. They've got polka dots and... Um, this one says has words on it like like butterfly and angel and noble um, humility discipline jo love joy so they're, those are really pretty and this one has like French words and then this one has like swirls so very pretty uh, I will I will definitely try and use some of these or I'll give them away. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't do a lot of pink and um, this other one, you know, so kind of pinkish too. Okay. I'm digging in a box here. Um, so another little, this was like a little journal that was in there as well. And I, am a huge journaler. I have like four different journals and I haven't written them in a, written in them in a while, but um really cute. It's got the zebra on it. It says be fabulous. I am fabulous. We're all fabulous. So I really like that. That's really cute. Um then there was this paper pack. Um it's called Generation Tech. Is that what it says? Generation Tech um, Stack. And it has things look I have boys. I said I had boys. So these are really cool. I'm going to be able to use these. Um, there's like video game and computer references. Um, this one's like um, is embossed. Um, and there's bright colors, and there's music. Oh my gosh, my boys are so into music. They're 19 years old, and they're huge, huge music fans, um, college students, um, bits and bytes and numbers. And so that one, that that pan's re pad's really good. There's like one that's got Space Invaders. So. Um, I like the arrows with the metallic arrows. Those are really cool. So I'll definitely use that paper pad. Um, never In my book, you can never have too much paper. And then there was another one, and I really like this. I think this is more of a girly pad, but it's got, I mean, and I know she used some. These are both, I think, DCW or DCWV, um, die cuts with a view. Um, Yep, this is as well. They're out of out of Utah. I love their stuff. They have great paper um, paper pads. But there's some metallics again with the pink. But I might be able to make some boy out of it because it's got some black and it's got some grunge. Um, there was one with skulls. I know I could use that. This one with the record player, even though they, do, my boys have no idea. Well, they do know what a record player is, but they, because I have one, 
actually I need to get a new needle for it. Um, but really cool kind of kind of grungy rock and roll band sort of stuff. So I can do definitely do their their later um, pages, their later uh, pictures, the pictures of them older. Let's see. I'm cleaning out the box now of what was in the box. Um, okay, that's all that was in the box. Okay, so next I got these butterflies. Put that up a little bit. I got these cute little dimensional butterflies by Studio 112, um, uh, which is, I don't know. I don't know who the maker is. I don't, I've never heard of Studio 112, so I'm not sure where they came from, if they were Walmart brand or um, made in China. Studio 112, Butterfly Dimensional Stickers. Papillion Studio. So I, I'm not familiar with them, but they're, they're really cute. I love butterflies. Maybe do that, maybe use them on a journal, uh, artsy journal page or something. Um, and then another um, one, this is k and Company. I love k and Company. Um, they always have some beautiful stuff. Um, and these are mo uh, dimensional, um, there's, what, seven pieces in there. These are part of their Grand Adhesions collection. Um, which they usually have grand adhesions to match paper lines. Um, so there's probably a paper line out there or something. This is really cute. I love it. This one has like a key on it. I'm getting ready to do um, a scrapbook layout about moving into a new house that was um, that I'm using keys on. So um, then Mambi, uh, me and my big ideas is Mambi, which is, I didn't really didn't know that that's what Mambi stood for because some of their stuff is not really acid free and so I try to be careful with products that I use on my page and this doesn't say anywhere whether it's acid free or not. Um, so I might be careful about where I place that on my page because I don't want to destroy but it's got love this and hey you and arrows. I love the black and white and then the days of the week so very cute um, me and my big ideas um, and then there was a couple of stamp sets this uh, flower like I don't have enough stamps um, in case I haven't <laughs> said before um, I probably own ten thousand dollars worth of rubber stamps unmounted okay maybe um maybe less than that maybe maybe seven thousand um i have a lot um i used to i used to sell um, a brand that's now out of business unmounted um they were uh, they had some really great stuff anyway so i i got this set and the brand looks familiar um not sure though um, who it's from and then there's another little small set here so this one has the flower with the that fills in for this one um, it looks like that you can mix and match and it's got cute little butterflies and and um, dragonflies on it and this one has a butterfly um, and and leaves small leaves for your flowers um, so very cute um, stamp sets oh um, it says Inca Inca Dinka was it Inca Dinka do that that that's what she had on the late on the label up here for um, the stamps and it says garden words so it says dream and imagine I have those words in other stamps. Oh, and it has boom too. I have other, I have those words in other stamps, but um, not this small. So very cute. Um, also stamps. Oh, and I love these border stamps. Are really cute. Um, there's, and it looks like it's brand new. Well, no, maybe she used it. 
Maybe not, because they look pretty brand new. I think they're still in the case. The Michaels is recollection brand is Michaels. And um and yeah, us if she used these, maybe she used them once. She cleaned them really well. But so there's the uh the hearts with the leaves in the in the in in the green and then there's the hearts and the pink going down there. Um, and then there's like kind of a loopy stitchy in the blue one and then this one is is like flowers going down so um, I don't have a ton of orders and I don't have anything really cool like this so I like this I'll use them one more set it looks like another recollection set by Michaels and it's um it's called animals see that we've got I love love this peacock and I will definitely use that and then there's a there's a there's a cute little squirrel here um, can you see him the little squirrel and there's an owl there's an owl and a little deer little ladybug and a tiny birdie and then it says thinking of you and friend so those are definitely card words so I'll actually probably transfer these into CD cases because I keep all my unmounted in CD cases um, but really cute and I'll probably use these these envelopes here for um, as she sent these in um, for my thin lit dyes um, because I'm starting to get my first bunches of thin lit dyes and I've been kind of looking online to shop and buy some more so um, then also this uh, this sticker sheet it's it's all the states um, and there was only like uh, looks like maybe Jersey and California and maybe two other states missing but I only really need um, Texas. Oh, I need the Texas one, and I need the. I know I saw it here. Um, let's see. Well, I would be able to recognize it if I saw it on here. Oregon, Washington, and I'm looking for it. Oh, um, here, Wisconsin, um, and maybe I'd use the Minnesota one. So um, that would that would be the only ones I'd use. So, and these are American Crafts Studio Calico from American Crafts. So. Um, I don't know if I'll use much of them, but maybe I'll send the rest on to somebody else and maybe they'll find a home. Then I got these labels from, uh, these are Teresa Collins. Um, they're in a, like a teal color, but I bet if I added a little ink, I could change the colors on those. Um, and it looks like there's two sheets, 50 pieces. Um, teal labels um, so I'll use those great great item um, then Amy Tangerine and I've been I've been I follow Amy on um, her YouTube and these are these are stickers by remarks I have a lot of remarks but they're rub on um, but so I'm I'm kind of liking these um, I don't know how they're gonna last as far as um, as far as um, having enough E's or A's or uh, I's or O's, you know, um, the vowels. But um, I like that these are a lot of different colors, uh, and I can always, always use more, um, more sticker letters, always. And it looks like she only used this, like, maybe one time. There's a couple H's, an A, a D, a C, in the, and it looks like she only used the gray and the orange because all of the other colors are intact. C, 
AD and a few H's. Maybe she knew somebody with a lot of H's in their name because I don't see any more missing out of this. So, so anyway, um, really great. I'll use that. Um, thickers um, in gold. It's numbers. So it's 25 days. Um, but some months have 31, so I'm kind of confused about that. But maybe you make it a December countdown. Um, I don't know. Uh, I might think about it. I might also give them away because um, I'm not sure. I would have to do a special project that was like a Christmas countdown or something um, because I would use them on a calendar, but I need 31 days. So um, then there was these set of stickers. They're, um, I guess she got these at TJ Maxx for $1.49. I never find these at TJ Maxx, and I don't find them at, um, I don't find any stickers at Tuesday morning, too. Darn. And I was going to stop at Tuesday morning today, and I didn't. But I'm not going back out in this heat this weekend. Um, and this alphabet is a dazzle holographic. Um, I don't know. I thought usually they have a like a the style of the letter wave. That's what it is. It's called wave right there in front of my face. And some of these are like coming. They're all coming off. So probably they don't stick very well. Um, but that's okay. I'll just add a little adhesive. But I like them. They're really cool. I also got some Amy Tan um, American Crafts um, in silver thickers. Um, and they're new. I mean, the letter's just fallen down there. Um, these are brand new packs. Again, $1.49 at Marshall's. This girl knew how to shop because she bought them on sale. Um, and then... Um, and did these have a name besides the fact that they were Amy Tans? Um, probably under this silly sticker. Um, because I know that they give them names, but I can't see it. So, but it's the silver, silver glitter one. And then here, these stickers, um, Robin's Egg, they're called. And they're corrugated. Togetherness. From togetherness, is that a line of paper or... Anyways, great color. Um, and I don't I don't have many stickers, so this was a, a definitely a bonus for me. And, um, and pool, which is um, a metallic um, kind of blue with the white in the center. Um, from Kitten. Um, this is Kitten on the front and pool. So the foil letters. So those are really cool. Um, and that is about it for what I got um, from Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. What a deal. I am so happy. Um, in case I didn't let you know before, I'm sorry. Um, I could not find um, what YouTube channel that was, What um, which person you were. I, I'm new to YouTube and so um, I couldn't find out uh, I didn't know where to look to to thank you and to let you know that they had arrived but they arrived and and I'm loving it um, and I'm going to put them away finally today um, I might have told you in one of my last videos that my landlord had asked us to move because he was going to sell the house I had convinced him not to sell our house and um, and he's going to let us stay. Uh, I've worked out arrangements with him. And so I don't have to pack up my entire scrapbook room. What a mess that would be. It was in a mess. And now I've got to get it unmessed so I can start working in it again. Really didn't want to move. And so I'm really happy about that. Um, the next few things are things that I've gotten at Walmart. Um, and I did a little shop at Tuesday morning, but I'm sorry, I don't remember what of the stuff that I have is from Tuesday morning and what is from Walmart. Well, I, I, I do know, I think one, at least, 
that I know was from um, was from Tuesday morning. Um, I think these uh, wood veneers. I found the pennant um, banners, and I really, really like the banners. I have. I now have. The potty people, I have the arrows, and I have the hearts. And now I have the pendants, and I like, I like those a lot. I try not to use, I use them sparingly, though, because I don't have a lot of them, and, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of them out there at the stores from where I've been looking. So, um, and I may have gotten this other item as well from, and I paid $1.99 for those, so that's a pretty good deal. Um, I think those were from Tuesday morning, and those are by American Crafts. It's Do It Yourself, um, American Crafts. Um, and I think, I think this one was Tuesday morning, too. And this is from Basic Gray. Um, I know their logo well. Um, I used to carry their paper products in my store, and their, their, their product lines in my store. So... Um, and this one is just, uh, they're just, it's their capture um, snippets, they call their line snippets. And they're, um, you know, little journaling cards that you can use to mount. And it's got a report card. And nerdy is cool. I got two nerdy boys, so. Um, noted. I just flipped through it. What's up? What's up? That's why my brother says all the time. What's up? Okay. So, um, that. And then, I think the rest of this is all from Walmart in the last couple of weeks. I grabbed a thing or two here and there. So, today, while I was there, I realized I was working, I'm working on a art journal page. And I'm not recording that. Because I'm getting a new camera soon. And then I'm going to record everything. But So I got um, English Ivy Green. I noticed I didn't have any greens. And Kelly Green. These are just um, basic 50 cents. They were 50 cents. 50 cents at um, Walmart. Um, colors that I needed to fill in. Holly Branch. Which is kind of a regular green well, Kelly Green is actually a regular green, and then Holly Branch is a little darker, and then the um, English Ivy has a little bit of like an olive kind of tone to it, if you can see that. And the Holly Branch and the, and the Kelly, so much, much greener. And then I got, because I only have pink, like in a metallic, and wanted a darker pink, this is called cranberry some apple berry barrels so I got four of those and then I know a couple of weeks ago I picked up this this is from we are and it's um, their believe a oh, daydreamer the three by four cards and there's they probably got a paper line to match this but I want the cards just for the journaling cards to add to pages um, doily looking and hello and I think I can cut some of these apart and use them in pieces to ampersand and days of the week make every moment count I'm just flipping through today Oop, today so um, some more journaling cards um, and then I have I've gotten some washi because I'm slowly adding to my collection. I got this red and white um, polka dot washi tape. Um, and these were all 99 cents, I think. Mm, maybe I got this at Tuesday morning. I don't know. Um, but I've got the black and white washi. And this is for sure the washi brand. This was Studio G, which is Walmart brand. And this is, this is washi brand. This is washi. So I might have gotten this at Tuesday morning, but it's the black and white polka dot. And then today I got colored arrows, and it's red and purple and black. Looks like, like are the three colors of arrows. Those were like, I don't know, this was like 97 cents, I think, at Walmart. And then I got this one, which is scotch. And it's 
kind of, um, I don't know, you can't, it looks kind of purple in, in this light here. I don't know if you can really see the color really well. It's not, it's not showing you the color. It is like, like aqua. Um, it is, maybe you can see it better there. Like that? No? What if I put a, grab a piece of white something? Um, yeah, that color shows up a little better on there. But so, it's, uh, I think this would be great for like pool pages and swimming pages. Um, and this is Scotch brand, um, their expression washi tape. So, I just added four more washies to my to my washi tape collection and um, I don't have them with me but I, I bought I saw this one girl using boxes and putting dividing um, she she did a YouTube video she was doing a YouTube video and I saw her dividing up her items by color um, her like embellishments um, in these little clear trays well I couldn't find any of these little clear like bins they had open lids or whatever but Walmart has the little the pencil boxes the school the hard plastic school pencil boxes in like four or five different colors and they stack and they have grooves in the bottom so they don't slide when they're stacked so they don't fall down and I bought eight of them today to and I'm organizing my um, embellishments by color and so um, so I bought those today and I'm kind of divvying those up and I'm trying to put my scrapbook back in order um, and now I get to put all of this away in in the new spots in my newly organized room because I had my room partly packed up um, and and now I don't um, now I'm putting it back together and I'm going to put all my cool stuff and um, and I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a few things in um, in a giveaway um, bin um, because I had I was using the shoe boxes and these round no I was using these round ice cream these they stored ice cream we would save them after the ice cream was all gone um, and um, and I was I was putting everything into those, but they were taking up so much room, and these boxes take up so little space, and I can fit everything in them. So uh, I am I'm or going to organize my scrap room today and get all of this stuff put away. Um, I have um, I have to reorganize my paint because the place where my paint is, um, I have too many colors of paint now. Um, I keep my alphabets in um, a filing cabinet um, in a file in, in the different colors because um, because I have so many so many different alphabets and so many different colors and so I divide it up by color that way I can find the alphabets I want in in a hurry um, so um, that's about that's about it. I haven't really gone out and bought anything major in a while. Um, I'm due maybe in a few weeks or something. I'll go to Michael's and to well Joanne's maybe um, and uh, Hobby Lobby and see what they've got. But right now I've got so much stuff I I don't really need anymore. Um, just want to shop and see what's new I'm still still looking for um, enamel dots um, for a really good price um, I have really not found any and that was one of the things that um, everybody's been using that um, I have not had a chance to use and and I think they're cool um, so um, other than that, that's, that's it for now, and keep watching. I have a brand new video camera I am going to be picking up within the next couple months, and um, I'll be putting out some uh, process videos, some scrapbooking process videos, and some um, 
maybe some art journal processing videos and I'm going to really get my YouTube channel up and running. I was looking at cameras, in fact, today, um, but I'm waiting for a really good price and I think I might have to wait until um, like the day after Thanksgiving or something because um, I'm on a budget. Um, but I, I need to get the video camera and I want to get a boom and a boom is going to cost me at least like 50 bucks. Um, I haven't seen them anywhere cheaper. Um, if they've got cheaper booms out there, let me know about them because because I'll I'll look for them. Um, in the meantime, um, if you are going to want to if you want to see some of my um, process videos and stuff, hit that like button down below. Um, and tell me that you want to see them and subscribe and um, I'll give you some new stuff in the future. So take care and uh, don't shop too much because uh, you never know when you might need that money. No. <laughs> buy. Buy, buy, buy. Buy scrapbook products wherever you can find them. Um, I, I almost I thought I saw some things at a rummage sale today, but I didn't. Um, and uh, so with that, I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to go put all this stuff away. Take care. Bye.